20 of them. My buddy Scott are out here at Wren Lake. Nice and quiet, calm day, bright and early, 5.30, 5.45-ish. And uh, we got some special stuff today. I'm gonna share with you the new umbrella setup and uh, excited about that. And it's gonna be a smoker, so we're gonna get full use out of it, so. Right on, you ready to rock? Can't wait. Here we go. Good start. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. <laughs> Red Lake boy, that's just that's just a pretty fish. I'm gonna take that guy off. So we got six fish in the boat, two of which Scott has caught, but we've noticed a little slowdown on his bait. So, and I think just about every time I've hit a good line, they've went after it. So we are gonna switch him up to that same bait. Gotta keep him interested. So my favorite right there, my go-to. Yeah, it's a 132nd ounce orange head with a loop knot. You can't go wrong right there. And uh, loop knot, I've showed it a thousand times. Right through there. The gob. The gob. The gob, it's not very accurate, but it gets the job it done. It works. There it is. Very user friendly, right there. And we're using bigger baits here today. I think just about anything might work, but they seem to like the plastic. So that's what we're gonna give them. What is that, a two and a half? You got the three inch bait, three inch bait. one right there you cannot beat a red lake thump i mean that thing is just they are committed white crappie not playing not playing you don't have to play around i mean it's no guessing so as we continued the sun went up and boy did it start getting hot now in a past episode i talked about the perfect umbrella setup well i got an incredible amount of feedback from you guys and so what you're about to see is just the beginning 
of what I'm going to be sharing for the next couple months, I'm sure. Well, you guys, if you remember, there was an episode where I was looking for solutions for umbrellas and keeping this hot sun off us. Well, I, I found a solution. And uh, because of you guys, several people had commented that the welding umbrellas, which is very interesting, were a solution because of how strong they're built. And uh, well, I went ahead and I reached out to Pipeliners Cloud, and I'll put the website right here on the on the screen and by golly they sent me one to show off to all you guys so what i've got is i've got a pedestal right here a pedestal right here i'm gonna go ahead and put this pvc pipe over the top of it, it should fall down and that's going to give me stability for the pipeliners cloud umbrella so Now I'm going to do a full review of this umbrella in another episode, but this episode I'm just introducing it to you. This thing is beefy. I'm talking 32 pounds of pure steel that is, it is not going anywhere. Oh, well, thank you, Matt. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to figure out. <laughs> so this guy is built for longevity in fact their slogan is it'll last longer than your partner and in this case my fishing partner <laughs> but uh i haven't solidified how i'm going to mount this thing permanently um, i'd like it to be a little bit lower just this is the first time i've ever put it up but you can tell the construction is through the roof I mean, very impressive. That's right. I mean, check that out, folks. That's for sure. So we're gonna play with it during this episode and then I'll give a full review and all the details. But Pipeliners Cloud, you check them out, folks. And uh, the construction, I can tell you, is through the roof. Crazy good. Good, for rainy days, good strong, good, strong uh, umbrella. So anyway, we're going to give you feedback, all that great stuff. Another episode, like I said, just on the Pipeliners Cloud umbrella. Eight foot, by the way. So after fishing with the Pipeliners Cloud umbrella, we realized really quick that we really want this to be on an angle. We really want it to sit backwards. So we're working on attachments right now to make the adjustment that we think crappie anglers are gonna want. So if you have suggestions, love to hear it. But at the same time, we are working with the company to make sure that we get the attachments that we want in terms of angle. But right now I can tell you that it is beefy, it is strong. It is, uh, it's unbelievable. Just an absolute beautiful piece of work. I could actually call it a piece of art if you see the webbing inside. And um, Stay tuned because an episode's coming where we do a full review. So like typical summer, the bite kind of died around 10 o'clock and we had a long time before we actually ended up catching the, our limit on Rim Lake. But so we're gonna go back to some of the morning catches that we had that we didn't show them. Um, these are really great fish. And we're just vertical jigging over this structure. And I'll tell you what, just an absolute ball. Scott hadn't done it yet and uh, up to this point and just, he, you know, he was having a fun time and it just doesn't get any better. Well, that's it, folks. Hey, I'll get back to you on the new umbrella. It was awesome, but there's some tweaking we got to do. You have a good time? Oh, absolutely. Good time. We got all of our overs. Show you some pictures. Um, got hot. 
But uh, it was definitely hot early, slowed up a little bit, then we got on a couple more lines and finished it off. All good fish, all white crappie. And uh, check out Red Lake. Really doesn't get much better. You love the thump, isn't it, right? That's right. Yeah, the thump is awesome. So thanks for watching. Another episode. See you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.